after their bath and morning prayers, Rama, Laskama, and Sita return to their hermitage. As they were seated in their hut, they arrived upon a scene of dreadful demons. She looked at Rana and immediately fell in love with him. Wow. He had a handsome face. She had an ugly face. He had lovely large eyes. She had hideous eyes. He had lovely soft hair. She had rare hair. He had a lovable form. She had a terrible form. He had a sweet voice. Hers resembled the rebarking of a dog. He was young. She was hardy. He was able. Her speech was crooked. He was of noble conduct. She was evil of conduct. He was beloved. She had a forbidding appearance. Such a demoness spoke to Rama. Who are you, young man? And what are both of you doing in this forest with this lady? Rama, Rama told her the whole truth about himself. Laskama and Sita, banishment from the kingdom, etc. Then Rama asked, so, oh, charming lady, now tell me who you are. At once the demons replied, ah, Rama, I should tell you all about myself immediately. I am Sir Punka, the sister of Ravana. I am sure you have heard of him. He has two other brothers, Kumpakana and Vibisina. Two other brothers, Kara and Dusana, live in the neighborhood here. The moment I saw you, I fell in love with you. What have you what have you do with me, this ugly emaciated Sita? Marry me. Both of us shall roam about his forest. Don't worry about Sita or Laskama. I shall swallow them in a moment. But Rama smilingly said to her, You see, I have my wife and me here. Why do you not propose to my brother, Laskama, who has no wife here? Serpanka did not mind that suggestion. She turned to Laskama and said, It is all right. You please marry me and we shall roam about happy. She was tormented by passion.